what is going on guys it's your boy since here with a video today because a photoshop tutorial shows how to actually create a cool little sort of esport jersey slash jersey mock-up here today include a little presentation image for like your website or portfolio site and uh, yeah if you haven't tried apparel designing it might be something you might honestly love like to bits if you guys want to like work shapes it's just a fun little concept i want to show you guys how to do it and let's just get this thing going of course just if i likes on the video you can see you down below as always and let's just run it let's just do it let's just do it all right guys so today's video is actually sponsored by yellow images if you guys have no idea who these individuals are we'll be talking about them more at the end of the video however they house the most exclusive graphic assets for example uh, photorealistic psd mock-ups like we're using in today's video being the jersey uh also they're so very kind of us to give us 100 coupons for 30 percent off your first purchase so the first uh thing you're gonna be seeing today's video is the mock-up so if you guys would like to purchase it you can get 30 percent off using the code in the description down below and uh, yeah thank you very much to yellow images and we're just gonna kill this video let's do it all right, let's go. This is going right here, right now. So this is my little example that I already have. Um, I'm probably gonna try to like replicate this at least somewhat close for the tutorial. But this is the example that if you guys were to use, uh, example when you guys open it from a yellow images. If you guys were to use this one, super clean, super cool, super like fit. You can see the cool little shadows. I'm personally be turning off. How do you say this right here, which is the smarts? I'm gonna leave it like this. Now, just because I know everyone cannot purchase something, I'm gonna be using. Uh, also, excuse me, you guys can be using as well this free little one that I found on uh, Google. Um, I believe it's like the, uh, cl close to the same resolution when it comes to like how big it is. However, it's not as athletic, I would say, and like the shadows and highlights are not as, I guess, deep as you'd probably imagine or like like them to be. But for aesthetic reasons, I think this is fairly close to what this one is right here. Um, like when I say close, I mean it's very hard to find a free one that looks like the one right here. But I mean, this works. It's free. You cannot complain. And it's from TR Design Me. Of course, a little shout out to you. A little all your socials and all that good stuff. This is a little bit different when it comes to when it comes to like colors don't like show up as well. But I'm just going to show you guys. If you guys want to use it, you guys want to highlight, uh, hold control on your keyboard. Click on the actual thumbnail. Uh, of the actual body right you can click on it make a new layer then of course you can make different sort of like shapes if you guys want to put shapes in there however if you guys want to just kind of change the entire thing in a full color you don't have to do is just double click on the body okay right you take your color overlay you click on it and you just kind of just mess around with it right so you can see how like super vibrant reds don't really come out very well so be careful with colors but that's also the limitations when it comes to the free mock-up here it's just the, it's simply it's it's limiting your color choices and colors basically everything on a uh, jersey when it comes to if you want to make it really cool and different but if i go to here right the same kind of concept here now you can go to parts right here just like so you can turn that on right now if you want to hold uh press v on your keyboard which is the move tool right the first tool if you hold control and you select you'll see that it selects different parts actually it doesn't do that until you lock highlights just like so and lock shadows just like so now when you hold control it'll select the first thing that picks up the pixels on that same as that click so if you hold control you click on yellow you'll see it moves to yellow purple moves to purple boom etc 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 so if i want to say the body let's click on this go to this what was that noise uh click on the thumbnail right here right if i go to red i make the same saturated red you can see it does hold it a little bit more better i would say like super saturated red is kind of weird but um still looks pretty clean it still looks yeah actually that looks like a lead elite damn orange looks dope um but yeah if i lower it you can start to see those shadows really come in uh even if you lower it to a really like uh how do you say like a like a small hint of color in there you can still see the small hint of color i mean gosh that looks freaking dope also can i have picks like that is that like a thing um okay so press okay so it's super simple to actually change the color so i'm gonna change the color to like the like same color scheme i had here which is like black black gray red etc i'm gonna do the same exact thing like right now let's just do that All right, so as you can see, filling the actual color is not hard whatsoever. Now, once you guys are done with that, let's say you want to put actual cool little shapes on the actual tummy or the belly or how whatever, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just say, you can do is if you actually have the parts needed right above the highlights and the shadows, you can actually select the individual pieces, like I said before, right? You just go over here, uh, magic wand tool, you click on it just like so. I'm actually going to click on these two. That way everything is selected because I want this to all be the same color. Even though technically this is like the back wrinkle or whatever, uh, I still want to fill it in, okay? Now I'm gonna make a new layer, make sure I make it below the highlights and the shadows, just like so. Now I'm gonna take my pen tool, take this shape and just kind of go around the actual uh, mock-up, connect it, right click, fill path, okay? Contents, black, press okay, right click, delete path, and now we have ourselves a nice little shape. Now to get rid of the marquee tool thing right here is control D, 
or if you press M on your keyboard, which is the marquee tool selection, when you right click, it gives you the option to deselect, just so you guys know. I believe it actually gives you the option to use the pen tool as well. It doesn't. So make sure you guys press M, just so you guys know. Okay? So I'm going to actually say this color right here needs to be like, maybe like right here. We'll make this color here. I'm going to use Control U on my keyboard to change the gray levels just by changing the lightness. Right? I'm going to make this a bit grayer. Right, make a new layer by actually, or make a copy of this either by pressing Control J on my keyboard, just like so, or taking the actual layer, holding Alt and dragging it below it, which I'm gonna do personally. Control T again, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make this one pretty much like pure black. Okay, the third copy, we're gonna do it again, make it a bit bigger as well. Make this one like a cooler gray, looks pretty good. Now, if you want to erase. You just need to take your eraser and just kind of erase where it should not be. However, you want to do like a better way, I would say. If you guys want to kind of like, let's say if that's still like like, like right there, you want to make sure it's super, super clean. You can go back to your actual parts needed, right? You click Marquee Tool. Make sure you click on it just like so. Hide it. Go back here to your layer that's actually showing over things. Right click. Select the inverse, right? That selects everything around where you selected, right? And then you press Delete on your keyboard and then that'll delete very, very perfectly, which would be way better for like, I guess you would say if you're doing it for like a client where they want to send it to an actual uh, manufacturer and be like, hey, can you do this, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's like gray to like another secondary gray. Let's do that one as well. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'll do this kind of a little bit like that. I like that. It's pretty close to kind of how it is. Okay. Does it go all over there? I think it does. Cool. So let's just say you have this little part done. All you have to do now to make other things is literally just kind of click and kind of put them on. So I'm going to take my pen tool. I'm going to say, yo, let's do this here. Let's go here. Let's go down here. All right. We'll do that one there. We'll say there's another one down here. All right. Let's make sure this is like perfectly even on that line. All right. Now what I'm doing now is you'll see in a quick second once I finish this one. Is making like these cool little shapes that you can add like the color of the actual color and kind of tie in the color scheme together. So I'm gonna right click. Uh, I can't. I should have probably saved the red, but I'm just gonna kind of use this one. I think this is fairly close, right? This red here. Press OK. When I fill in the path, drop down or excuse me, right click, delete path. You can see nice little little lines going in here. Now I'm just gonna put in the logo really quick. All right, logo dropping in. Just like you. By the way, if you like zoom in, you can see the actual pattern and the actual mock-ups kind of texture of the actual shirt. Is on the logo already. Like, if you want to put the logo like dead smack here, it works, kind of thing. All right, I'll make the logo smaller. Now, of course, I'm gonna change it up a little bit now. I'm gonna put this like right here for now, okay? But I'm gonna say, yo, what if I want to put like something cool in the arms? Like, what would I do? What would I do? Let's just say on this left arm, we're gonna make a new layer. This is just me kind of going, just having fun with it. This is what I think you guys should be able to do. You just have fun with it, like this, right? And we'll say it just kind of like goes down this way that it's weird it's weird let's just see if it works though like it might it might it might be a winner right okay okay right if i just make a copy by literally just holding alt excuse me holding alt shift dragging it over holding shift as well by holding alt uh so alt holds it so it makes it of course a duplicate but shifts holds it so whatever movement you move in that first axis is exactly where it stays press Control t right click flip it vertically excuse me horizontally Okay, go like so, put that bad boy. So the only problem is how do I know where, like, you know what I mean? Like, how do I know where, like I said like, like, like you guys know. Where, there he goes, something like, no. Something like that, how, how do I know when it's even? There we go, and if I need to just take my brush. It's not the same red as you can see, but I would like, uh, fix that accordingly but uh, that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna go ahead and say the color is, is not the same i'm gonna go ahead and just say let's go this let's go here choose the color make sure it's perfect perfect now it's perfect same thing with this one it should be perfect okay boom there added some red that looks pretty freaking sick let's just actually try to add something else i mean this is this is exactly what i'm gonna be doing like right now i can i can end the tutorial by now but i'm just kind of having fun with it i want to put in I have no idea. I feel like I put in like a like a circle down here, like a cool little ellipse. I'll just make this red. Does that look weird? I mean, it looks weird. What if I made it black? Yeah. I mean, 
I think I should just stop here. I'm having a little bit too much fun with this, but I wanna, of course I want to show you guys how to, of course, do the actual presentation image of it. But this is how I imagine you guys should be and just having fun with it. Of course, you make a really, really cool concept. You end up actually using or uh, posting it for like a team that might actually be interested. They could buy it off of you, the mock-up, have them actually really design it, etc. You have no idea. Or it's just like I said before, a fun way to, of course, how do you say fill in your projects and just have fun with this. So I'm going to take this here, move it into a different Photoshop document, uh, document which is going to be, let's go with... Let's just say it's like 1920 by 1080, I think. It's like the move right here. If I find, file new. Okay, where's my file new? Uh, Photoshop? Popped up finally. Okay, file new. Okay, we're going to use 1920 by 1080. And we're going to run this uh, little sort of like jersey. English is hard. Into here. Let's just do that now. All right, homie. So I'm going to say before you guys move your jerseys into your new document, I would suggest you guys go to your actual jersey group. Right click on it and use convert to smart objects. That way it kind of it kind of rasterizes it in a way, of course, where it's gonna be one, in one single layer. However, you can actually double click on this page again, and when it opens up, you'll see it opens up in that same sort of like vicinity like this, and you can go back into it, edit it, all that good stuff. However, of course, we don't really need to do that. We're pretty set right now, but if I drag it in here, and if I were to do the whole entire design, you say like, oh crap, the jersey's kind of messed up. Regardless, you just go back into it, you fix it inside there, and you're good to go. So I dragged it into my new document. I'm gonna go ahead and make this new document or size it for my new document. So I'm gonna make it a little more smaller. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and zoom. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now I'm also gonna go ahead and use uh, see my keyboards as the crop tool. For me, I like to kind of have it so that the actual uh, uh, presentation of it is kind of like. It all fits in a nice little seamless way. And I would say the most best way, the most best way, English is hard. Uh, take this, hold alt, drag it from the left to the right. And I would say make a cool little sort of like more of a vertical box. Not even really square, but more vertical to kind of really uh, complement the actual, of course, the vertical height of the actual product. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say when it comes to your background, okay, listen clearly. When it comes to your background, to your actual presentation, I please, please don't kind of distract uh, I guess the viewer from it and kind of like have the background be super super loud super noisy super all over the place And the foreground just kind of be like muted in a way, right? You want to make sure you kind of compliment the actual not kind of you want to make sure you compliment the foreground being the actual jersey So I'm gonna suggest you guys to do whatever design you did right something like really cool You take that subtle part of that design and put that in the background, right? I wouldn't suggest you guys to do this, which is kind of boring Which is I want to believe most of you guys are gonna do this right I'm gonna make this black for a second Okay Make it a little darker I'm gonna suggest most of you guys are gonna make a copy of it, drag it below, and do this, right? That's this, this boring, 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 okay? What's not boring is something like that. Something like this is like you tried, you gave it a little bit, of, I can actually prefer to give it a shout out too. Let's try that actually. So I'm gonna do the same as I think again. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer, pen tool, okay? I'm gonna make that same angle, okay? I'm gonna go around. So for me, I want to choose to use the same exact little sort of stripe line blocks. So for me, color, we're going to go with red. Fill that in. Okay, that looks pretty good already, kind of. I can make it a little darker and more saturation. A little bit. I'm okay with that. Move it down a little bit. So, same thing. Hold Alt, take that layer, you drag it below it, make a duplicate of it. <laughs> then I'll make this black by taking the saturation, lowering it down. Take my lightness down to make it a little more darker. Something like that. We'll do the same thing once again right here. And this one would be a little more gray because this one in the middle, I'm actually going to make it so it's more darker like so. Now, since the line here, I'm making too many duplicates, it's going to get, of course, fuzzy. So make sure you guys go ahead and go into it again and copy that same exact line. But also make sure you make that nice little smoother uh, or more, uh, how do you say, higher quality next shape. So I'll make another new layer. You take this oops, stroke path. I want to do fill path. Drop down color. And go ahead and use like a nicer grayish tone, something like that. Hell yeah. I'm gonna do the same as I think before. I'm gonna take my logo from over here. I'm just gonna go back into this. Okay. Not an eye logo, my team's logo. And here, okay. Go like so. Put that right here. I'm actually gonna uh, clip mask this logo into that part right here. Nice little subtle thieves right here in the background. Make it white. Okay. I'll take this, just take the opacity. Lower it down. We're looking clean. We're looking clean now, right? Now I'm not a I'm not the I'm not the best at shadows. However, let's just try a shadow out. Let's just say if we did like how would we do this? Oh boy, what am I doing? I have no idea actually. Uh I feel like it would be more like just like there, no? Uh you guys are laughing. I can I can hear 
some of you professional shadowers out there in life. Um, dude, I mean, you know, I'm not that. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and say this is the best shadow I've seen. I've seen yet. Absolutely. Yep. Boom, it's like a circle. It should probably be an oval. Now we're thinking like waste, right? Okay, but I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm so scared to do it that I know it's not right. So I'm scared to go further. I'm gonna take this L while I have it, okay? Um, before I go like to like a hold of the letter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say, make it a little more smaller, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead now. This should probably be a little more gray now. So now that I say that I can get, hey, yo, I can double click on this, right? Go back to this gray, boom. I feel like it should be a little darker right boom and i have to do is press control s which is saving this uh smart image layer that we made from the beginning not changing this over here by the way close it now you'll see it makes it darker so this is before after heck yeah so last but not least putting in the uh, title of the actual jersey mock-up which would be 100 thieves right and i'd like to put in jersey mock-up concept or should I put mock-up concept? I don't even know. Truthfully. Make that a little smaller. Put that bad boy right here. Okay. I'll make 100 Thieves white. There you go. And we got ourselves a nice, simple presentation image to go with our little jersey. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just say, if you guys are not apparel designers, it's okay. I'm not. As you guys can see, like, it's not, it's not terrible, but it's not, like, super, like, freaking dope. In a way, but in a way, it doesn't really matter because I'm just having fun and you guys are putting your portfolios, you can enjoy it. It can be something that kind of just, like I said, it fills in your project uh, and you're like that person that just looks in your portfolio. It's like, yo, this guy can do some pretty cool mock-up stuff. I should pick him up because you know how to do multiple things. Eh? You never know until you know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so very much at Yellow Images for, of course, sponsoring this video here today. I'm going to, of course, give you guys more information on them right now, but I'll talk to you guys later. Appreciate you guys and don't forget to leave a like on the video. All right, guys, thank you guys so very much for watching today's video here today. Of course, once again, Yellow Images being the highlight of today's video. I said in the beginning of the video, they're giving out 100 coupons for 30% off your first purchase. So that $15 uh, PSA you guys saw that I'm using today's video, uh, I think it's going to be like 11 and a half if my math is probably incorrect. I suck at it, but it's super, super dope. Once again, super nice photorealistic mock-ups. Really, really dope PNG 360s. I'm going to, I'm not, I cannot stress to you how much you guys want to know about 360 images. Uh, there's no more need to go to Google and type in like, I don't know, like if you're looking for like a specific object, like a desk, there's no reason to look and look for that perfect desk angle, but you can literally just find it right here. I promise you, you're not going to like, you're not going to skip a beat. And when it comes to super creative fonts, of course, they have you as well. And the coolest part is you guys can sell on the actual site as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's win-win or be an affiliate as well, if you guys want to do that too. But I mean, if you guys love really dope mock-ups, you love really dope PNGs, you love fonts, if that's something you use every day, if it's something you use every once in a while, at least come through to see if it's actually here first.